to me, Brad seems to be the kind of an artist who reaches a certain amount of archetypal simplicity after going through many, many complex stages. The reason I've picked the patterns I pick, mm -hmm. the close packing, the spiral, the sphere, as we go out into our getting more information at both ends of the spectrum, small and big, those same patterns keep appearing. That gives me um, confidence that I'm dealing with some pretty good pattern. An algorithm, it, there's many, many ways you can look at algorithms. People look, study how bees fly out from their nest and their patterns that they all follow, how to get to the honey, how to come back, and they can, you can describe that, those steps that they all take. And um, these drawings are somewhat related to all that to me. And there's a pattern and there's a looseness. And I like, I like where it starts disappearing, the order starts disappearing. Okay. Well, the energy is there. Yeah. You're working in paper and then photography and now with wood panels. I mean, it's very risky for an artist. Well, I don't know that it's risky. I'm, you know, I'm driven by the idea and the pattern, not so much the material. Uh, there are some things that happen, like I, um, when I was a student, and I'm teaching you right now a ceramic class at UCLA, and I tell these students what worked for me and they should pay attention because it should work for them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to remember that. <laughs> well, basically, uh, things happen and crack and they're mistakes. And things happen in your work that you don't anticipate. And if you're paying attention, they're going to give you more information, more kind of excitement than a finished piece that went the way you thought it was going to go. And that happens to me over and over again. They're all birch plywood, and that is important. Birch one is a very flat and uniform to burn, but I love that the grain comes through. It adds another Finish. layer. Yeah, yeah. Basically how I made that was I had these little white rocks that I tumble my ceramics in, in rock tumblers, and uh, I spread them over the surface of the wood and I'd make a shadow, burn a shadow of those rocks into the um, wood. And I, I like fire. I mean, I was always, I was a pyro. I am a pyro. There's a lot of uh, kind of hoping it's gonna work out when I'm making these. It, just when you stain it, like this is an aniline dye, I don't know how every piece of wood takes it differently, the color. And... Because you don't know, as you said, it's a leap of faith. When you start a work, you don't know what it's going to turn out like. Yeah, those specifically, those white pieces on the wall, I had no idea what they were going to look like. Just uh, a leap of faith. I kind of, I, I, you can't, I can't draw that out. I could see those becoming actually architectural elements and I could see having pieces cast out of uh, plastic or rubber, mm -hmm. 10 or 15 different parts that could grow. This would be a small piece that could fill this, you could make these pieces that would fill this room that were not delicate. I like that, that you don't know what they are made of. Uh, you have no idea, really. Also, all these pieces have symmetry in them. Parts of the, like the circular pieces, bi bisymmetrical. Um, there's symmetry in so many of these of different forms. Basically, when you make discoveries, what you do is you create more information and more questions than you answer. So that's like a dendritic, you know, information is dendritic, how it's created and, and comes in. You're never gonna get to the end of that tree. I think we will be extinct before we know all the information we can find, right? <laughs>